Well, according to um, um, Domain Engine Control, my web hosting account has been installed. And what I do is I log into my account, and you can see here that the deluxe Linux hosting with cPanel has been installed. Uh, and so I'm going to hit the launch button right here within my account because I logged into my account and uh, went to my services. And you can see there is cPanel. And that's the cPanel of my account. So basically what you need to do is you look here for web applications. And of course this has a, a ways that you set up your email, a lot of other great things. But uh, you know, you can get support from uh, Domain Engine Control on that. But what we're going to do is all we're concerned about is right here, WordPress. We're going to click on WordPress. And all we need to do is click on install this application. So what I want to do is I'm going to install it right here on what's called the root domain okay so in other words I don't want to put it in a uh, what's called a subdirectory I'm going to put it on the root domain that's self-hosted and you, you just agree to everything here and then see here it is given you usernames and password and then of course if you want to change it to um, a different password you can but you know what you want to do is is that you ought to go ahead and use what they recommend because they're going to um, they're going to let you have the ones that are best for you and um, uh, no this is not a multi-site and uh, you know they pretty much got it all set up here to help you do things that you need to do you can go ahead and put in your real email address which a lot of you know my real name email address is Mike at internet audioguy.com and this is going to be instant video blogging demo and it's not just another WordPress from Mike Stewart or whatever I want to do and then of course I need to copy these usernames now I may change the username up here to video blogger and then I'm going to leave that that password right there and then I may go in and change it. So in other words, when I've got what I need here set on this page, you know, it is going to install WordPress right there on that account. So I hit install, and when you see it processing here, let's see, you know, I don't know how long uh, this will take, but let's just go ahead and watch what happens here. Wow, that's pretty cool. You watched it happen in front of you. So now, if I go to the domain name, There you go. There it is already on the website. And then that has turned into a WordPress install on the hosting account. So you watched it go from nothing to something. Uh, and what happens is, is, like I said, you can uninstall it and redo it. But if I click right there, uh, then that's going to allow me to log in and do all the other things that I need to be able to do to make this website do all the things that we're going to be teaching in this course. So just to review quickly, we went and we bought the domain name, we, we added the hosting, we logged into the account, and then once we logged into the hosting of the account, we were able to go into cPanel, and then cPanel, you can see there, it, uh, uh, you click on Featured Applications, and then of course if you had another domain name, you could pick a different domain name, install this application. You can actually have a, an installation on a uh, directory, but look here at all the other domain. I see I've only got that one domain name hooked to this, so that's why I can only do it. But, you, you know, you can hook more domain names to this uh, installation utility. But that's all there is to creating WordPress on your self-hosted domain.